All right, my friends, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Due to popular demand, today I'm going to film a live sales call with a prospect. Now, if you remember a while ago, I filmed a video where I built and showed you how to use a white label AI automation agency pitch deck. And I wanted to build on that video by applying everything I mentioned in a real world scenario. Okay, so who is our prospect? His name is Anthony and he runs a waste management company. So he rents out bins to residential and commercial customers. He has been kind enough to agree to have our call recorded today. But out of respect for privacy and the integrity of his website traffic, what we've chosen not to do is to name his company. So we've had a bit of an interaction over email and he's really curious about how to leverage AI to generate leads and automate parts of his business. Before jumping into the call, I'd really love it if you could smash those like and subscribe buttons and please hit that notification bell. It helps us out a lot. And if you haven't seen that video where I built the white label pitch deck, you can access the episode here and please make sure that you go to the description and download your own copy of the slides. Without further ado, let's jump into the call with Anthony. Hey Anthony, thanks so much for joining me on this call. Appreciate it. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How's your, how's your week been? Week's been good. It's been busy. Sun's out, so we're ready to work. All right, fantastic. Um, I'd love to know a bit about your favorite springtime activities. Are you a golfing man, basketball, baseball? What do you do? I golf. I golf. That's it. Okay, well, yep, the sun is out, and hopefully you get um, a lot of good tea time. Um, I just wanted to know uh, a couple of things. I've got a presentation uh, all set for you. I, just, I was just curious um, what made you want to take this meeting? We've had um, a bit of interaction. You sent uh, me a, uh, uh, you, you sent my business a, a form wanting to learn more about AI. I'm just curious to learn a bit more. Yeah, through family and friends, I, I keep hearing about it. And, you know, with the companies we run, I'm sure we can use it somewhere within them. So it's, I'm, I'm just curious to know more about it. Okay, and you know, today's all about educating you on the power of AI. Um, I'd just love to understand a bit more about your business. How long have you been in business? And perhaps if you can just, sh just share a couple of your, your, your goals. Do you want to uh, grow your leads? Do you want to improve your marketing? What's the end game that you want? So we've been in business for about eight, nine years. We have a few trucks now. I like to grow that fleet. I like to grow uh, the amount of bins we have. Um, more employees, and we're just looking to generate more business. Okay, so um, more lead generation, really? Sorry, say that again. More lead generation, then? More leads. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, and you know, I've, I've certainly got some ideas for you, um, but what I'd, what I'd like to start with first is um, to show you a bit of presentation, just to really help you understand what's possible uh, for you as a business owner in terms of uh, leveraging AI to generate leads and to optimize your marketing um, uh, in, in a very cost-effective way. Um, uh, so if you're um, if you're good for it, I'm happy to dive into this presentation, and you can ask me any questions you want along the way and throughout it. Oh, I'll also have a couple of questions for you in terms of, you know, potentially some of the pain points uh, that you resonate with, or uh, some of the needs, uh, some of the things that you'd like to have within your business, if that works. Sure. All right. Awesome. So, um, you know, Anthony, with um, uh, with, with the way things are going, the introduction of AI, uh, you know, I like to think of it as we are now in the next era of business. And, you know, uh, when I put this uh, presentation together, I kind of like to think of it as we've gone through, uh, you know, this is like the third major revolution as far as um, marketing for small businesses goes um, and, and how, how, how uh, everyday people consume ads and information. So if you think about... Uh, you know, the Industrial Revolution, the 1700s, we moved from this small agriculture economy to mass production, mass industrialization. Newspapers started to get printed en masse and um, people were served uh, all these generic ads, you know, in, new in their newspapers. Uh, they accessed um, information about businesses like yours really through the yellow pages. And that's the way people uh, were uh, consumed information. That's the way they were targeted and, and fed ads. Then, uh, you know, you fast forward to 
1980s, 90s, and then 2000s, we had the dawn of the information age, right? So we had the internet and business owners like your, like you, you started to list um, uh, on Google, you started to use email marketing, uh, started to do things like SMS marketing, um, uh, uh, Facebook ads and whatnot. And, you know, with everything that's happened in terms of all the excitement of the chat GPT and AI, uh, in the turn of this decade, we, we really are in this next year of business that is being led by AI. And what that's allowing you to do is um, uh, streamline operations, be much more targeted with your customers in terms of how you market to them. Um, uh, you're, you're able to give them uh, you know, the immediacy in terms of uh, being able to answer uh, their, their questions, be able to um, uh, book business with them instantly through things like booking tools and, and, and chatbots. And, um, and, and so uh, there's a massive opportunity here to automate so many of these mundane tasks and target these customers uh, better. Uh, so now explain why, uh, as I go throughout this presentation, um, so now it's no fluke that tech is in my last name. My name is Vishal Tekshanani. Uh, so I just want to spend a moment talking about, uh, you know, what, what I do for local businesses. And I help businesses like you navigate AI and automation, increase revenue and productivity by reducing costly, tedious and manual processes. That, that is my mantra here. And that is, um, uh, you know, what, what my uh, uh, main Main, main goal, my end game is for local business owners. Um, uh, now, Anthony, I'm sure, I'm sure you know Mark Cuban, but please tell me if you don't. No, I know him very well. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. So, you know, Mark Cuban is one of the biggest validators of AI for local businesses. So, you know, when we had all this excitement with ChatGPT, uh, one of the first things Mark Cuban said was, if you don't know AI, you are going to fail, period, end of story. And there's a, uh, and, you know, there's a big reason why he, why he said that. And that's because the local business of tomorrow leverages AI and automation and quite frankly needs to leverage AI and automation in order to survive. So, you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, as, as a business owner, you've seen across the landscape just how much businesses are struggling in terms of higher costs, um, uh, materials are more expensive, labor is more expensive, utility rates keep going up, the cost of, you know, you want to you wanna buy, be buying uh, more bins to, to grow your business. Um, uh, but just the cost of doing business um, has risen exponentially. And really what Mark, Mark's referring to here is that local businesses need to embed AI throughout their businesses um, in order to in order to just lower the cost of of, of serving their customers uh, so that they can uh, maximize their revenue and um, uh, keep keep their he head above water um, so uh, um, and, and and how that's being done is through the introduction of tools like AI chatbots um, meeting schedulers, um, uh, things like workflow automations, um, automatically asking for customers for things like like reviews. So the point is that the local business of tomorrow really needs to leverage AI and automation, and th they have to if they if they want to survive. And that, that's where I want to um, you know stop for stop for a moment, Anthony, and just just ask about you know as you're running your business, what what are some of the challenges that you're you're seeing in terms of um, the cost of doing things. Yeah, for sure. Um, it starts with employees, right? Uh, finding drivers. Um, insurance today is uh, awful. Um, you know, they require uh, a lot of experience and letters from previous employers, so it's very tough to get insurance for these new drivers. Um, then you go to fuel, right? Fuel is crazy expensive now. Uh, dumping. To dump all the garbage, those rates keep going up. Fuel goes up, those dump rates go up. Um, even maintaining the uh, the trucks, we have mechanics in house, and you know the shot the, the trucks are in weekly getting service, right? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, everything is uh, you know every year everything goes up, right? 
Yeah, absolutely. And uh, and I'm curious, in an industry like yours, um, Anthony, with, with waste management, how much control do you have over things like pricing? So uh, your business costs keep going up, but is it a competitive field where you have to keep your pricing fairly stable with competitors, or do you have the power to keep increasing them? Um, it, it depends. Uh, it depends on the work. If it's residential, we, we get into the, the contractor side too, where we have loyal uh, customers that will call and, you know, there's a lot of negotiation, right? They, we, we might be high on a job and we got to, uh, you know, match, right? So there's a lot of that stuff as well. Okay. So um, pricing can be quite, quite variable. Um, and so, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it, it feels like the biggest opportunity here is to control your costs rather than uh, have free will to keep increasing your pricing, right? Correct. Okay. And so that, that makes a good segue into, uh, you know, the next point, um, uh, uh, the next part of the presentation where I want to talk about um, how local businesses, how, you know, many local businesses, they're experiencing higher costs just in the way they're doing business today. So... Um, if you think about the business that doesn't have um, much AI embedded within its processes, they're going through a lot of pain points. Like they're waiting for customer calls and emails. They're following up on their leads manually. They're treating customers um, the same. They can't discern between new and existing customers. Uh, so for uh, someone like yourself, Anthony, you've got a, a commercial side, you've got a residential side. Um, uh, uh, if you don't have uh, you know, those tools to be able to identify which bucket is which, you can't send them the right messages at the at the right time, right? Um, and they're bogged down by things like repetitive tasks, and they're just struggling to grow without in increasing their overhead. So um, you might be in a position where you're adding bins, but the moment you add a bin, um, you, you might, uh, you, uh, where you Sorry, when you're adding bins and you're adding new trucks, you might need to add new admin staff just to manage that workload in terms of handling more bookings, right? Correct. And, and so that's where AI and automation can really start, start helping businesses like yours. So if you think about what, what, um, what some of the tools today let you do is you can deploy 24-7 chatbots and phone agents and other tools to um, allow customers to book their pickups or to book, um, uh, you know, get, get get those bins on their driveway for whatever period instantly. Um, there's no more human error risk with someone taking a call and trying to work out when they can get a, a, a bin and a driver from one place uh, to another. And um, uh, it's, it's also capable of things like answering many of the uh, common questions that, that you might get. Hey, you know, wh wh what can't I put in these bins? What can I put? What's the load? Um, uh, you know, where does it eventually need to go to? Um, you have things like automated uh, calendar sync. So someone can ask a chatbot um, that they want a bin tomorrow. Um, uh, they're able to just book it inst instantly. It syncs up with your calendar. Your driver knows where to go. Uh, all your admin person is doing is just processing the, the appointment. Um, uh, your customer interactions can feel much more personalized. So, you know, like I mentioned, residential versus commercial, you're able to market to residential customers in the right way, and you're able to market to those commercial customers with the messages that are more suitable uh, to them. And you're able to scale um, uh, you're able to scale much more effortlessly by deploying these tools, which are just cutting a lot of manual manual tasks. Um, so I, I did some uh, I did some uh, research on your on your business, um, Anthony, and uh, this is what I can see in terms of uh, the the data, in terms of things like reviews, uh, the appointments booked. And this is where this is where I f I feel I can reasonably uh, get you to, and I'd love I'd love your thoughts around you know some of these um, uh, some of these figures, or maybe even get a sense of where it is you want to get to in terms of um, how many um, how many leads you want to capture a month, how many conversions you want to get, uh, you know what what's the revenue you want to target. Yeah, I mean, 
I like it. I like the numbers, obviously, right? They're almost double. And and you know um, what I what I like about it is that they're they're double without disproportional effort. Okay, so you know when I made those points um, in in the previous slide with AI and automation, all you're doing to do all you're doing to get to this stage is things like adding in a chatbot. Okay, really cost effective tool that goes on your website is capable of answering queries and we can eventually get it to a stage where it's actually taking bookings. So your admin person doesn't need to do that and you don't need to be having two, three admin people just managing uh, pickups. The admin person can focus on doing higher value tasks. Um, your appointments are being automated. With things like Google reviews, there's tools to that allow um, uh, you to automatically market to your existing customer base you've had you've had this business for nearly 10 years asking them to leave a good review and uh, when you have more reviews it 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 it, it um uh it, it matters a lot to the google uh, algorithm in terms of helping you rank higher because there's more reviews customers are seeing that um uh, there's recent reviews they're having that validation that you know you your your businesses provide good provided good good service in recent times so it's going to help you rank higher and it's also going to help uh, become more convincing to those uh, to those leads um who are looking for evidence that um uh, 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 that you know you've provided good service in recent times as well. Okay. Okay. So um, <clears throat> uh, and and j just want to highlight that you know I'm not not making <laughs> not making this um, data up. There is um, there's a massive uh, data analysis company called Statista, and what they've found is that j just in the very initial stages of um, businesses implementing AI, they're seeing a five to ten percent increase in revenue. Again, this is this is from a very, very early base. This is from, um, uh, uh, you know, AI adoption at a very small scale right now. So just just with the power of AI, businesses are really increasing uh, their revenue already. So it's a massive opportunity and I think it's going to get bigger and bigger over time. Um, and j just to show you how some of these tools and some of these um, uh, uh, automations uh, can help businesses. Here's a foot clinic that I did some work for and we implemented an AI uh, assisted web capture tool on their website. Okay, And just within three days of launching it, we captured 27 leads. And one of the reasons why is that this chatbot is an absolute beast at getting people's name and contact details, right? So people are coming to uh, this Foot, Foot Clinic's website, they've got a lot of questions, um, the admin staff are too busy to even pick up the phone, the chatbot's able to answer different things about foot conditions and uh, potential uh, treatments for those, and then it's going to ask you for your number. Hey, can we, you know, uh, one of, can one of our people get back to you? We'll get back to you soon. And that allows you to um, close the deal because it captures the contact information. You get a text message, a notification that someone's um, interested uh, in booking an appointment with your business or is asking you some questions. And you can work that qu conversation to quickly convert that deal. And what's, what's interesting is that all these leads that we captured for this business actually came from prospects that were looking at their website outside business hours, right? So they're open from eight to four. Most of these queries came in at six, seven, eight o'clock because people were too busy to call this business at work, and this really helps you keep capture um, leads, which I which I you know like to call out of cycle. You know they're they're too 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 busy to get in touch outside business hours, so it's a really effective tool to um, make sure that you can capture some of that business um, that can't call you during regular business hours. Um, uh, and and uh, I'd love to ask Anthony, you know, at this stage, do you um, do you get a lot of common queries uh, for your business uh, that you know f perhaps feel a bit repet repetitive to answer? And uh, do you get a lot of inquiries outside hours too? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We do. Would you say it's like um, a lot of them? Thirty percent of your queries, forty percent of your queries. Yeah, maybe even half. I would say that you know it's six o'clock at night and you're answering the. The, the phone, right? And trying to make a sale. Okay. And right. 
and, and that's where a tool like this can come in and it can, you know, you, you being, um, uh, you being a busy man yourself, uh, you know, uh, you've got, you, you, presumably you want some downtime after work, but there's all these queries flooding in. This can take away, um, this can take away, I guess, um, you know, the extra effort that you need to put in as a business owner in answering um, many of those queries outside hours, right? Because it's gonna, it's gonna answer some of those, um, what, what are some of the common questions you get? Well, let me ask you this. So when these queries come in, and you know, it's six, seven o'clock at night, how do they populate where I see, do I get to see that chat on what you know AI was saying and what the customer was saying? Like it gets generated and like sends it in an email or? Yeah, that's right. So uh, how it works is um, the chat bot is trained on the business information you provide it to answer whichever queries that you that you get, right? So I, I'm going to assume one of the common queries you get is, "Hey, what can't I put in this bin?" Yep. Okay. That and how much? Uh, yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. What's the? Pr hey, how much does it cost? What can't I put in this bin? How much time do I do I have before I have to give it back or it gets picked up? Right. Um, so you can train it to answer those questions. The chatbot will initially start answering those questions, and the moment the query is sent through the chatbot, um, a, a, a chat log starts becoming generated, and you get a text message or an email notification or both, whatever you prefer. You'll, you'll get immediately notified, and you can see what the chatbot has already answered. Now, as the chatbot's answering those queries, what happens is it's going to very quickly ask, um, hey, now that we've given you the pricing information or now that we've answered your question, hey, um, can I get your name and number? And we'll book you in um, uh, uh, for, for, for a bin pickup uh, as soon as we're, we're, we're available, right? So you'll, you'll get instantly notified, and then you can then continue that conversation with that customer just on your phone and close the deal. Would it be, would it be so do I have to close the deal myself, or is, or is AI, can AI actually close that deal? Um, is there a yeah, so we can, we can get it to that stage just to warm you up um, uh, with a tool like this, what we do is um, your, you and whoever you want in your team get access to what's called a unified inbox, right? So as soon as you get a query from the chatbot, um, uh, 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 you and your team get notified. If you want somebody else to handle the query and close the deal, they can. If you want to manage uh, responding to the lead yourself, you can. And then the, the next step of that is to, you know, because we need to we need to develop automations which sync up to your calendar. The next stage is to eventually get it to a stage where customers can ask these questions of the chatbot and then book business then and there from the tool itself. Okay. Okay. And and so uh, and you know you you ask some really good. Great questions there. So I think for, for a business like yours, Anthony, um, an AI chatbot is a no-brainer to, to, to get started. Like I mentioned, uh, we train AI on your business information to intelligently answer questions. It'll capture, it'll capture customers' information right from your website, and you can communicate through um, uh, one shared inbox, right? So you can have access to it. Your team can ha get, have access to it. You can delegate it to whoever you want. Uh, query comes in. You can continue it on. Uh, SMS, Google Business Profile Chat, and um, and and email and other um, uh, other methods as well. And uh, the other idea I had for you was reputation management as 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 well. So you know reviews are just so key to ranking number one ranking on Google and number two convincing customers. Right? If they if 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 leads see just a handful of reviews, they see uh, three, four, five reviews. They're not going to be that easily convinced. Whereas if they see 20, 30 reviews, which are all four plus stars, and they're seeing reviews which are recent as well, right? People, if I'm to visit your uh, website today, I wanna have an idea that within the last few weeks, you provided good service to other people, and that makes me feel, I guess, more comfortable that, um, uh, that you know you're maintaining those service standards, um, and 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 uh, it, it it it's likely based on other people's experiences. I'm going to experience um, good service from your business as well. So we can implement a reputation management tool, um, where you, uh, which 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 is AI powered. So what you'll be able to do is. 
um, market to your existing customers and ask them for reviews. Um, so, you know, you've had your uh, customers over a 10 year period, we can ask all of them to leave you a good review. Um, and you'll be able to also use a an AI powered tool within the reputation management software that allows you to instantly respond to reviews. And it's really important that you respond to reviews because that helps with, um, uh, again, with Google rankings, Google SEO, uh, and it sends all these signals that you're, you're, you're getting all these reviews, you're a responsive business owner, and Google likes all of that. Okay, um, and uh, just to just to finish off here in terms of how we work to work together. Um, so the first thing, uh, the first thing uh, that we that we start with is a needs and discovery call. So all I've given you is a couple of ideas here, but I'd love to sit down with you um, and understand. Hey, what are the needs of your business? Um, what is it exactly? Uh, what exactly do you want to achieve? What do your systems look like? And then we can develop um, the right solutions for your needs. Then we'll work on uh, integrating uh, those solutions, automations, workflows, and any software into your business, and then provide the ongoing support to make sure that you're happy and that all systems are working uh, properly to help you do what you need to do, which is generate leads and grow your revenue and eventually buy that new truck. Um, and in terms of next steps, I'd love to I'd love to book a discovery call so we can uh, uh, dive into your needs a bit more. Um, just wondering, would a thirty minute call next week work for you? Okay. Um, how about how about next? I'm pretty clear. Next Wednesday. Does next Wednesday sound good? That sounds good. Okay. And is there anyone else that should be on that call? Someone who you'd like to have a full understanding of um, what could possibly be implemented with all these AI and marketing tools within your business? Yes, I have two associates that should be involved in the meeting as well. Okay, no worries. Um, I'll shoot you an email after this, just getting their email addresses, and I'll book in an appointment if that sounds good. Perfect. All right, perfect. Okay, so then after the discovery call, um, I'll put together a proposal and roadmap. You um, have a look at it, um, uh, you know, check the pricing, make sure you're happy with the pricing, uh, the plan, um, uh, what you can expect in terms of um, return on investment. If you're happy with that, we'll sign contracts and then we'll move on to execution and training um, and we'll teach you and the key staff that you want, uh, that you want to, um, uh, th that need to have a good understanding of the tools we'll implement here. Um, we'll make sure that you know we we train them up uh, to, to put put the stuff to good use. Does that sound good? That sounds good. All right, perfect. All right, Anthony, thanks so much. Um, uh, is there any questions? Anything else you you wanted to ask of me before um, I let you go? I do. I've heard a lot about the the Chat GPT, so I'm wondering if you could show me how you how if, can you show our team how to use that. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, in in you know in in my proposal and based on your needs, we can absolutely work in some uh, coaching hours to show you and your team how to use it um, effectively. Uh, I guess uh, where I what I'd want to understand is um, how how new uh, or familiar are you and your team with using ChatGPT. We're not familiar. I've, I've just heard a lot about it through family and friends, and I'd like to see an example of it. Yeah, sure. So I'll just share my screen here. Just give me one sec. And, and the way I would uh, describe it, Anthony, is um, it's like the ultimate, it's like the ultimate employee, right? It's an admin assistant. It's a marketing expert. It's a copywriter. It's a negotiator. Um, it's an analyst in terms of the research uh, it can it, and insights that it can provide your business. So maybe if we can work up a, an, an example, uh, do you do you like doing monthly promos for your, for your customers by any chance to give give them discounts yeah. to to get fresh business? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So you know, um, writing those emails and then writing a message for each social media platform can take a lot of time. Right? Um, what's the type of discount that you tend to give customers when you're running these promos? It could be uh, buy a bin and get a second set off. Uh, sorry, buy a bin and get a what? 
and get one at 50% off. Okay. Alrighty. So um, here's ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it to come up with a marketing campaign, right? So I am the owner of a bin rental company. Um, I want to run a promo promotion in June 2024. Um, rent one bin and get the other off for 50%. Is that right? Yep. Okay. And get the other off get a get a 50% discount on the second bin uh, create um, an email marketing campaign um, based on this promotion is there a promo code that you like giving customers something like that. yeah yeah we can create one you can put uh Bin sale. Okay. Uh, Maybe bin sale. Based on this promotion, the promo code is bin sale. Um, so create one email and create one Facebook post um, to, to market this offer. Okay. So we type that prompt in and just so you, you can see here, it's literally just come up with your email. Okay, and so it's gone through. Um, uh, it's 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 gone through an opportunity. Hey, buy one. Uh, get sorry, rent one bin. Get a fifty percent discount. Here's why our rental service stands out. Uh, this is when the promotion's available. Um, hurry and book, and it even provides that urgency, you know, with messages like "Hurry and book your bins today." So it's created the email for you, and it's given you a Facebook post as well. This is something that I think would have taken someone in your business potentially an hour or two uh, to do, and just with one prompt, we've done it within seconds. And what I can show you and your team how to do is to uh, create these prompts, and then how you can also finesse what it what it what it stands out, you know, to be a bit more shorter, to be a bit better as well. Um, another example we can run through is um, uh, another example we can run through is um, getting some insights on on the industry, right? So, um, what are two of the biggest challenges that um, uh, commercial bin customers have that a waste management company can solve? Okay, so you can use this to um, generate some insights on your customers. Okay, so you know if you're looking to uh, expand your business, pinpoint some opportunities with your customers, you can get ChatGPT to help you uh, understand what the pain points are. So what I typed in here was um, uh, what are two of the biggest challenges that commercial uh, customers have when they deal with waste management companies? Number one cost management, number two, and even, even I didn't know this until I typed it in, regulatory compliance. Businesses have to comply with all these environmental regulation and, and, and laws. And so this can really help you um, with the research that you do to help you finesse and articulate um, you know, the offers uh, for these, for these uh, prospects. Very impressive. And when, what, what I can do, um, Anthony, is uh, you know, when I when we have the call next week, I'll come up with some specific prompts. We'll have some fun with your team. Um, you know, I'll show them some common tasks that they can uh, automate using ChatGPT. Those marketing campaigns, uh, research, um, uh, uh, you know, other communications and 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 uh, documentation that you might want to automate, and we'll do that literally in, in a matter of a few clicks. And you'll show me how to use ChatGPT. Yes, sir. Okay, so yeah, and, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll work with you guys to just come up with some use cases so that I really tailor uh, which prompts um, uh, and, 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 and um, use cases that, that, that are applicable for, for your business. Great. Okay, all right, um, I'm, I'll, I'll stop right, right there. I'm sure you're, you're, you're very busy. So if you have any, any other questions, let me know. Uh, if not, I really appreciate your time today and I really look forward to meeting in your team next week. Appreciate it very much. We'll see you next week. No worries. Thanks so much.
Okay, time for a moment of reflection. But first, I've got a special announcement. You've seen me record a live sales call, and now you can too. Submit your own recorded live video sales call using this AI agency pitch deck and get the chance to win a $1,000 Amazon gift card. Plus, there will be prizes for every submission. Check the link in the description for more details. And also, if this video gets 250 comments, I will record that live discovery call with Anthony. So please drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm super open to criticism about my performance and what I could have done better in that pitch call. Okay, now let's talk about that. So how did I think that the call went overall? In, in general, I think it went pretty well. Now, I'll be honest, I do get a bit nervous before I go into these calls and until I build some rapport. And often I'm kind of thinking and hoping that they're enjoying the call, learning some stuff and valuing what I'm saying. So I was really happy when Anthony agreed to go on to book the discovery call with his team. And um, I was excited when he had some questions about ChatGPT, which were awesome. And that was something I could sell in, uh, sell in terms of coaching hours as well. So all in all, I do think it went pretty well, but one big area where I feel I could improve is trying to convey that same amount of informa information in less words. But in the world of sales, you know, we all have our quirks and it's something I'm, I'm mindful of for me. Again, I hope you enjoyed this exercise. Please hit those like and subscribe buttons and that notification bell. And do go to the description to check out our competition. We're giving away a thousand dollar Amazon gift card plus prizes for every submission. And I can't wait to see your live sales call with our pitch deck. Have a great day.